good morning. It is nine o'clock on Saturday morning and I've woken up in my tent. Well, I say my tent, it's actually been borrowed from somebody else. <sighs> it's quite cozy actually, quite comfy. I seem to have made a most almighty mess. It was really tidy last night. It's not now, is it? Dear me. I'm attempting to charge my phone with a power bank. Yeah, this seems to be working. It's actually a solar powered one, but I don't know if it really charges from solar. I've tried it many a time, but it can charge it from the mains, so I charged it from the mains at home. How are you? Yeah. Vlogging away, eh? Oh, well, of course. Good morning. Oh, my bees pottering around. That's him singing. Yeah, I had quite an extraordinary night last night, really. I met a few people that I haven't seen for 20 years that I used to know from Devon when I lived in Devon in my very early 20s. So it was awesome to see them and met new people and had chats to them. And also saw lots of people that I have seen more recently, like within the last couple of years, maybe before the pandemic, but not since then. So it was just, oh, everyone's really happy to catch up and see each other, yeah. So we got more of that coming up today. IB's just come along and opened my tent flap, look, so you can see out the top now and some golden sunlight is coming in. As you can see, we haven't done the guys because we've been hanging around in that area and it seems to be right. Look what I can see from inside my tent. IB has got the percolator on the go. It looks like it's absolutely boiling and full, but it's just doing in little dribs and drabs, isn't it? It's only a fraction full. So I don't know what it's going to taste like because I think if you boil it too much it doesn't taste as good. Oh, there we are. There we are. We've been joined by a friend. Oh, I've got a fly. We're sharing, making him coffee and he's bringing us orange juice. There's a buzzard. I've asked it to stay where it is so I can film it. Where are you? Oh, I can't see your screen. Oh, there it is. It's a lovely hot day. Can you see the heat shimmers coming off the roof of this car here? Look. Visual distortion. I think yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> I've got no signal whatsoever on my phone here or internet except in that loo. At the end there, I'm thinking I should call it the portal loo because it seems to be the portal to the internet and the outside world. <laughs> I'm lying on my uh, airbed here. Oh, just as soon as I'm starting to vlog, a fucking noisy thing goes past. Typical. Having a very, 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 very restful and pleasant morning here at the camp. We've got a friend with us who's been joining us and we've been kind of feeding and watering each other, haven't we? Out of our various re resources, he's now making me a nice cup of tea. <laughs> Very lovely. I am dressed, believe it or not. Haven't brushed my hair yet. Washed my face with a wet wipe. You know, all the usual inexperienced camper thing. Actually, I am quite experienced at camping, but just not since Isabel was born, really. Before that, I used to go a lot, even on my own. So my kit was always streamlined enough to be able to go on the train with it. So this is like luxury camping now. Going in a car and having a table and things like that. Oh, yeah, it's very nice. I think I'm gonna put some of this sunblock on my face. Got that one for the rest of me. <laughs> Yet another cup of tea later and we are finally making a move back to the pub. We're going to go now, it's 12 o'clock, um, and take our instruments and go and find some musicians to play with. set up in here. I asked the lady very nicely to turn the telly off and she has. I'll take that off now, don't I? I am heading back to the tent now. We've been playing in there, that building there. So it's got big open sides and everything. Quite a big crowd gathered of musicians in the end. I don't know if you can hear them still. Anyway, I'm knackered. 
I just didn't get enough sleep last night. Only, well, I had six hours, but I'm a lightweight. I like at least eight if possible. I'm a bit hungry, so I'm gonna prepare some sort of food and then uh, have a sleep, I think. Back home. <laughs> Well, I bet those Snickers are melting in there. It's a hot day. Dinner's gonna be that, basically. In there, heated up and eaten, pretty much. <laughs> Whenever I try and vlog here, a car, like something noisy goes past. Look, I'm using my old trusty keyring camping can opener. I've had this for probably 20 years on my keyring, honestly. Just, it never seems to go blunt. Not that I use it that often, gotta be honest. <laughs> minutes later here it is yes i'm eating it out of a mug because i'd be forgot plates or bowls but to be honest this is just perfectly fine that's been eaten most definitely nap time now oh. i tell you what this eye mask is blinking brilliant i'm so glad i invested a bit of extra money in a really decent one you can just sleep anywhere well, as long as it's quiet i've had a lovely kit actually i slept for about an hour and then I got up for a wee, had a packet of crisps in bed, <laughs> and just I was thinking then, oh, maybe I'll just go back to sleep. I was I'd been expecting IB to turn up for a while because he was just going to play for a bit longer because he, once he gets playing tunes, there's just no stopping him. It's like he gets this tune genie in him or something, I don't know. But anyway, he came back eventually and he's hungry now, so just clicked the heat back on on the left over that food I'm gonna put another oxo cube in it because it was a bit bland I couldn't really taste that one that I put in and obviously there was no other seasoning so yes we're gonna I'd probably have a little bit more and he's gonna have a nosh and then he's gonna have a kip for about an hour I'm quite happy resting honestly we've probably got a very long night of more tunes ahead of us so I'm quite happy to just snooze the afternoon and early evening away quite happy with that look i'm on round two of the pasta ib's contentedly munching his out of a mug as well except he's made a little unique variation to his do you want to show the variation oh yeah i could show the variation are you willing to show it hang on possibly you thought every time <laughs> this keeps happening it's a flipping motorbike or something. Right. He was very inspired by the bacalhau abrash that I attempted to make the other day, even if it, mine was a bit of a flop. He, yeah, your eyes did not deceive you then. He has actually put a packet of ready salted crisps in his pasta and stirred it in. Mm. Well, we had drama. We nearly had more drama though. Came back from the loo in the tent opening by there. My bag was on fire. It was literally, look at it, it's all melted. Luckily, the cameras are all okay. <laughs> I fished them out. I was like, ah, extinguish the bag so I can get to my cameras and they're fine. But I need to get some scissors now and cut the spare batteries out of there. Your keys are in there, your car keys <laughs> as well. They might have melted those or something. Oh my goodness, there's the offending bit of tissue. A bit must have just blown off and landed in the tent. Because um, IB was lighting that candle there to get the, you know, the bugs away. And he you know, walked over, extinguished the tissue, but how? Someone in there set on fire from that, I do not know. But luckily we spotted it in well, time. it upside down like this and <laughs> trying to light it upside down, so something must have just kind of fallen. Oh dear. While I was standing up here or something. Okay. okay, well I think one of those long lighters would be a good thing for the camping kit. Yeah, well yeah. you can get matches with long stalks. No, oh, I think those lighters are the best because, you know, um, bit less, yeah, you're right, that less risky, good. you know. I'll put that on your list. Yeah. I'm very sorry, Emma. That's a sorry bag. Tragedy. The, uh... Tragedy. Well, it could have been. I'm not worried about the bag. It was getting a bit holy and scruffy anyway. Let's get these batteries out then. I thought the GoPro had set on fire because I never quite trust that GoPro not to do funny things. And sometimes you do find it's hot. But no, I think it must have been the other thing. Because the GoPro is fine, you know, it wasn't hot. <laughs> it comes a battery. Right, I think that's the lot out of there. Oh dear me, look at it. R.I.P. my bag. So you got everything out of it? Yeah, I'll double check though. 
Oh, my masks are still in there. It's my masks. My dirty masks that go in there then, you see, I've got a bit of a rotation system. <laughs> now, believe it or not, I'm having another nap. It's really nice, very pleasant and relaxing. IB's gone down for a nap. Our other friend who's camping next to us has gone down for a nap as well. We're gonna try and get an hour and then we're gonna go out. Instruments blazing for the final shift of tunes because we'll be packing up and leaving tomorrow morning probably or lunchtime at the latest. Have somewhere to get to on Sunday early evening, you see. It's about 10 past eight now. The light is seriously going here in the camp field. As you can see, we're about to head back up and have some more tunes for the evening. I didn't sleep, but I had to lie down for an hour. We've got bats. Oh, there's one. <laughs> I don't know if I caught impact, so I just stand here for a while. I'll catch some. Batty batties. Oh, there goes one. Oh, I love them. It's gone off down there now. Anyway, we're off to play tunes. If you're wondering what that continuous noise is, in the distance there, I think it's a combine harvester or something. It's got its lights on now. It's been doing that for hours, it has. Well, I managed to sleep through it earlier. It was kind of soothing in a way. We're wandering around from area to area. The big barn that we are in last night, this place we were in this afternoon, in the pub there are like three sort of cubby hole areas, maybe two, depending on what's opened up, where we could have a smaller session. People tend to wander around and then they join in with what they feel is comfortable in their sort of style. Like they've got one in the garden here as well. Here's some concertina guitar and a harp. Couldn't even get in. It's too full. <laughs> they probably didn't want us in there, that's probably why. <laughs> Making a horrible racket. How's it going, Tony? Good. In the barn, we've no idea who they are. We're just gonna muscle in, <laughs> which is the done thing. It's it's quite acceptable. You're, you're all right. I'm gonna be on the ginger beer. I've got two unopened cans in my bag that we just bought from the bar. Look at my shadow. Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Last time we went in that barn, well, it's gone a bit dark now. Sorry. There were two people up on the stage playing just acoustically. We think they're just having a session and we think they'll be amenable to being joined in with. Oh, I'd be had cramp in the tent. It's very dark and they're singing. We're wondering if they're actually doing a gig and they're like officially properly doing it, in which case we can't muscle in. <laughs> the tent. I'm tired and I'm gonna go to bed. Can you hear those crickets chirping in the hedge there? It's five to one in the morning now. I've done my teeth. I've had a wee. I've got into quite a lot of layers and fluffy pyjamas. My bed's all made up and it's cold tonight quite frankly. <laughs> so tonight will be the real test of whether I'm gonna be warm enough. But I've got two duvets, two jump, well a jumper and my fluffy pyjamas and Fluffy socks, <laughs> so hopefully it should be okay. 
I'll see you in the morning. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to help me out, a cheeky like on the video really helps the channel to grow and I'd enough appreciate it. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story, do hit that red subscribe button to follow more of my adventures and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.